Something strange is happening in China. The world's second largest economy, once a beacon of rapid growth, is now facing unexpected turbulence for what could be causing this dramatic shift. Join us as we investigate China's economic landscape to uncover the secrets behind this mysterious decline. For decades, China was the poster child of economic miracles. From massive infrastructure projects to booming cities, the nation seemed unstoppable. But recently, cracks have begun to appear in this once unshakable facade. One of the most striking signs of trouble is in China's real estate sector. This sector has been a cornerstone of China's economic growth for decades, contributing to nearly 30% of the country's GDP. However, cracks are starting to show. Property giants like Evergrande are struggling under mountains of debt, sparking fears of a wider financial crisis. Evergrande, one of China's largest property developers, defaulted on its debts, sending shockwaves through global markets. With over $300 billion in liabilities, including $100 billion in unpaid bonds and $200 billion in unfinished projects, the company has over 1,300 projects spread across more than 200 180 cities, meaning the potential fallout could affect millions of homeowners and investors. Additionally, other major developers like Kaiser and Fantasia Holdings have also missed debt payments, raising concerns about the stability of the entire sector. The real estate slowdown isn't just affecting big corporations, it's rippling through the entire economy. Housing prices in major cities like Beijing and Shanghai, which once saw annual increases of 10 to 15 percent, have been stagnating or even falling. In Shanghai, prices have dipped by around 5% in the last year alone, while in Beijing, prices have stagnated with only a marginal 1% increase. This is a stark contrast to the skyrocketing prices of the past decade. Another mystery lies in China's demographic shifts. The country's population is aging rapidly and the birth rate is declining. This demographic imbalance poses a significant challenge. In 2020, China's birth rate fell to 8.5 births per 1,000 people, the lowest in decades. By 2023, the population actually started to decline, with a net decrease of about 850,000 people, marking the first population decline in over 60 years. This shift is happening much faster than anticipated. The proportion of the population aged 65 and older has risen to around 30 13%, while the working age population, 15 to 64 years, has been shrinking. By 2050, it's projected that one third of China's population will be over 60, up from around 18% today. This rapid aging process is putting immense pressure on the labor market, which saw a decline of over 40 million workers between 2015 and 2020. Adding to these woes is the issue of local government debt. Local governments in China have been borrowing heavily to fund infrastructure projects and stimulate growth. However, many of these investments haven't paid off, leaving local authorities buried under unsustainable debt levels. By 2022, local government debt had ballooned to over 35 trillion yuan, approximately $5.4 trillion, raising concerns about the potential for defaults and the broader economic impact. In some provinces, debt levels have exceeded 200% of their GDP. For instance, in Guizhou, local government debt is more than three times the province's annual economic output. Despite central government interventions, such as, in 2020, issuing special treasury bonds worth 1 trillion yuan, which is $154 billion, China's manufacturing sector, once the envy of the world, is also showing signs of strain. The country's strict zero-COVID policy has disrupted supply chains and hampered production. Factories have been forced to shut down intermittently, causing delays and bottlenecks. This has not only affected domestic production, but has also had a ripple effect on global supply chains, leading to shortages and increased prices for goods worldwide. The trade war with 
with the United States has further complicated matters. Tariffs and trade restrictions have strained relations between the two economic giants, impacting Chinese exports. In 2018, the US imposed tariffs on $250 billion worth of Chinese goods, prompting China to retaliate with tariffs on $110 billion worth of American products. By 2020, these tariffs had significantly disrupted trade flows, with China's exports to the US dropping by 16% compared to pre-trade war levels. Despite efforts to negotiate and ease tensions, the trade conflict has left a lasting impact on China's economy, making it harder for Chinese businesses to access international markets. China's tech sector, a major driver of innovation and economic growth, is also facing challenges. The government's crackdown on major tech companies has created uncertainty in the market. Companies like Alibaba and Tencent have faced increased scrutiny and regulation, which has dampened investor confidence and led to significant losses in market value. For instance, Alibaba saw its market value plummet from $850 billion in 2020 to around $470 billion in 2022 after facing antitrust investigations and hefty fines totaling $2.8 billion. Tencent also experienced a sharp decline, losing over $400 billion in market capitalization during the same period. Despite these challenges, the Chinese government is taking steps to address the situation. Beijing has implemented measures to stabilize the real estate market, including restricting property speculation and increasing affordable housing projects. In 2021, the government initiated the Three Red Lines policy to control debt levels in property firms, significantly impacting borrowing and investment practices within the sector. They've also introduced policies to encourage higher birth rates, such as extending parental leave and providing financial incentives for families. By 2023, Three, measures included increasing maternity leave by 30 days and offering subsidies of up to $2,500 for the second child. Efforts are also underway to manage local government debt. The central government has urged local authorities to prioritize sustainable investments and has introduced stricter regulations on borrowing. In 2022, new guidelines were issued limiting local government's ability to raise funds through hidden debt channels which aimed to cap local debt growth to around 3% per year. There are plans to promote economic diversification, reducing reliance on real estate and heavy industry, and fostering growth in high-tech and service sectors. The goal is to increase the contribution of the high-tech industry to GDP from 8% in 2020 to 15% by 2035. China is also investing heavily in renewable energy and green technology as part of its strategy to boost long-term growth. The country aims to become a global leader in clean energy, with ambitious plans for solar, wind, and electric vehicle industries. By 2025, China plans to have installed 1,200 gigawatts of solar and wind capacity, a significant increase from the 680 gigawatts reported in 2020. The electric vehicle market is also booming, with a target to have new energy vehicles account for 20% of all car sales by 2025, up from 5% in 2020. Moreover, China is working to strengthen its domestic market. The government is promoting the concept of dual circulation, which focuses on boosting domestic consumption while maintaining foreign trade and investment. In 2021, domestic consumption contributed around 55% to GDP growth and the government aims to increase this to 60% by 2030. By encouraging more domestic spending, China hopes to reduce its reliance on exports and create a more balanced and resilient economy. The government's efforts include increasing household incomes, expanding social safety nets, and improving access to education and health care, which collectively aim to enhance consumer confidence and spending power. In this climate of uncertainty, businesses, investors, and policymakers must stay vigilant. The global economy is deeply interconnected, and China's economic health has far-reaching implications. As China grapples with its economic enigmas, the impact will be felt across the globe. Will China overcome these challenges and emerge stronger, or will the shadows of 
debt, demographic shifts, and regulatory crackdowns cast a long-lasting pall over its economic future. One thing is certain, the world will be watching, and we will continue to seek answers to the mysteries of China's economic decline. Subscribe to Truth Revealed to stay intrigued and informed.